I lost my shoe. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Bad day at Black Rock. This episode is the funny one, I would say, of season three. Each season previous has had a funny episode of Tall Tales or with Hell House. This is definitely the most comedic episode of Supernatural, at least from my memory of this season, and it's all because of a cursed rabbit's foot. What starts off, oddly enough, with them going to a storage facility and finding out that their dad had this storage facility full of all these guns and occult shit and he never thought of what to do with it when he died. Not good planning, John. These guys rob this place unknowing as to what they actually got, and Sam and Dean find them, they get the lucky rabbit's foot, and what proceeds is some funny asinine luck and some really good comedic timing in this episode. Sam first gets the lucky rabbit's foot, finds out that it's actually a cursed rabbit's foot, and if you lose it, the person dies. He has some pretty good luck. They win some scratch and wins. They win this winner's check thing at this clearly Denny's restaurant in Langley. I'm pretty certain that's the Denny's in Langley. However, they are then tracked by Kubrick. Kubrick is a very peculiar character. Sent on this errand mission by Gordon, who's in jail, he's been told by Gordon that Sam is basically the end of the world and he wants to see for himself. But all the while, he thinks that all this luck that's revolving around him and Sam's bad luck is all because of God. And he thinks that he's on a mission from God. And it gives me so many callbacks to the Blues Brothers movie, which is one of my favorite comedy movies ever. So seeing him do these jokes are kind of in line with the whole Blues Brothers sort of mentality, I did very much enjoy. I also love the line where he says, don't touch my Jesus. That shit was funny. But then we find out that the whole thing was a plan by Laura Cohen, otherwise known as Bella in this season. And I like Bella, particularly because they introduce her like Catwoman. She wears wigs, she's great at doing cons on people, she can chameleon herself, she has an apartment with all these rich stew hickeys, and she has a cat. There's a lot of Batman references in this episode. Not only just from Dean saying that he's Batman after knocking Kubrick out with a remote control, but he also uses a pen to block the barrel of a gun, which kind of happens reverse to him in Under the Red Hood. And going back to Sam, there is some really funny stuff that happens to him in this episode. Super pouty face that he puts on when he loses his shoe is just hysterical. The fact that the AC unit catches on fire without him doing anything is also very funny. I enjoy this episode from beginning to end. I love the banter. I love how Dean is able to trick Bella into having them burn it. I like the idea of Bella's character as someone who sells occult items to know that there is more to the world than just hunters. There are people who understand and acknowledge that occult monsters and demons and beings exist, but they use those means to profit off of them and makes the idea of business people and people in power and whatnot, all the more alluring to the idea of corruption and evil. But at the same time, it's also just kind of a cool idea to be a occult thief. But, 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 the one thing that prevents me from putting this episode as a seven is just the corniness of it. There's a few scenes here and there that, while sometimes work towards the humor of the episode, there's one part in particular where Bella and Dean have their gun pointed at each other for what feels like six minutes even longer, a whole conversation it almost looks like. And that's just silly. That's just actors being actors with guns. I found it very, very corny. Sure, it totally reminds me of Face Off. And while I love Face Off, that movie looks like it's done a line of cocaine before every take. Supernatural is not like that. That part does kind of lower it down just a little bit below perfect for me. So in the end, I'm gonna give Bad Place at Black Rock a six out of seven. I enjoy this episode immensely. It's very, very funny. I actually kind of forgot that it was the rabbit's foot until I saw the two guys trying to break open the box. I was like, oh yes, I remember this episode because the title does not refer at all to the episode itself. It's actually based off of a 50s movie where a guy comes to a town and ends up changing everyone's life. Anyways, you guys had your comments about this episode, so let me read some off. I love Bad Day at Black Rock, and it's definitely one of the best episodes of the season. It's hilarious, and I always like Bella and the chemistry between her and Sam and Dean. It also has my favorite use of a son of a bitch, which I can definitely agree with. Jensen actually ad-libbed that, and you can see Jared almost break when he says it. I guess Sam was soulless before season six, I really love how this season incorporates humans as bad guys better than season 12. The best part of this episode for me is the humor and the music cues on the spot. 
Bella is definitely a good addition to the show. I love how Sam and Dean treat her like an antagonist when all she really is is a thief who sells supernatural items on the black market. She's definitely Catwoman and Dean is definitely Batman. Bad Day at Black Rock is definitely a guilty pleasure episode. It's silly, but a fun silly, not a stupid silly. I still cringe at the guy getting a meat prong. I think that's what it is in the back of the head, but also think who the fuck leaves a sharp kitchen utensil to dry like that? But I digress. I adore the Kubrick character and his obsession to find Sam and how it is divine intervention that they stumble upon him. His obsession with God or Jesus is even more comical, knowing what God is like in later seasons. Plus, this episode has one of the most quoted Sam lines in the show, I lost my shoe. Poor Jared gets asked at almost every convention to reenact the scene. They're probably so sick of it by now. Also, I promise I'm not trying to get you to watch the anime, but the anime version of this episode is rather comical and good as well. Maybe, maybe when I go away for the next week, I might try and watch it. I'm not going to promise anything, but I'll give it a try if I can find it. All right, those are your guys' comments about this episode. Next episode is Sin City. Now, I do particularly remember enjoying the conversations between Dean and the female demon because there's a bit of a humanization there. I don't remember too much else besides the episode, so I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about that. So say your thoughts and whatnot in the comments below, and I'll read the best ones off in the next video. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.